Every night, a person prays to God, Please, Lord, let me win the lottery tomorrow. Years go by, and the person continues to pray. Finally, one night, after saying their usual prayer, Please, Lord, let me win the lottery tomorrow, God finally answered in a booming, majestic voice, Work with me. Buy a ticket. A funny story, but so true. You have to be in it to win it, at least as that's the way the saying goes, anyway. After watching a sign show on Benford's Law, I decided to write a lottery number picker in Google Sheets following some of Benford's Law. So we'll go ahead and do a quick demonstration. Let's say we're playing Powerball. It will automatically fill in the numbers based on the um, table to the right. You select how many games you want to play, and then you hit the run button. And then it will fill in the table below appropriately. Let's go ahead and pick another one. Let's say um, cash five. There's no um, lucky ball for that one. And we'll play, let's say, ten tickets. Because that one only costs um, a dollar in my area. And we'll hit run. And it comes up with um, a lottery number generated specific for those games. Alrighty, so Benford's Law, also known as the Newcomb Benford Law, is the law of anomalous numbers, or the first digit law. It's an observation that in many real life sets of numerical data, the leading digit is likely to be small. In sets that obey the law, the number one appears as the leading significant digit about 30% of the time, while nine appears as the leading significant digit less than 5% of the time. If the digits were distributed uniformly, they would each occur about 11% of the time. Benford's Law also makes predictions about the distribution of the second digits, third digits, digit combinations, and so on. Since the digits 1, 2, and 3 account for 60% of the time, I decided to keep it simple by limiting, limiting the numbers returned to start with one of these three digits. The lottery number generator uses AppScript. Google uses AppScript under the hood for their Google Docs suite of tools, including sheets, docs, forms, and etc. AppScript is based on JavaScript. I've shared the spreadsheet so anyone with the link can view. Just be sure to make a copy of the spreadsheet on your own drive so you can make changes and run the script. The script itself is beyond the scope of this video. But feel free to study it if you like by selecting the Sheets Extensions menu, followed by App Script. The script also comes with a handy Sheet Sizer, which you can run with the Extras menu, which I've added above. The Sheet Sizer came from uh, Ben Collins, and Ben is a Google Sheets guru, and signing up is free, and you can get weekly tips delivered to your inbox as well. He offers an enormous amount of free information as well as courses on specific topics, including getting started with Apps Script. I included links to his site, and his Google Apps Script course is in the description below. All right, so shall we take a quick peek at the um, script? Let's go extensions and Apps Script. And there it is. Alrighty, so have no fear though, you don't need to know anything about writing app script to use this tool. And I'm not a JavaScript expert, but I'm sure there are more efficient ways of writing the script. I've tested the app, but who knows if there are any bugs still lurking within. If you find any, please let me know in the comments below. There are lots of ways you may decide to change the script. Perhaps you would like to include the digit 4 in addition to 1, 2, and 3. You may also decide, instead of hard coding the leading digits to be included, to be data driven from a table in the sheet. Taking it even further, one may decide to include all the leading digits, but ensure that the percentages of each of the leading digits do not appear more than a percentage of times specified in Benford's Law Distribution. Taking it to the max, one might include algorithms for applying Benford's law to the distri distribution of the second digits, third digits, digit combinations, and so on. 
And if you're not familiar with running scripts in Google Sheets, the first time you run the script, you'll have to um, allow it to run. The script actually does not run the first time you press the run button. So you'll need to press the run button a second time after you have granted permission. Well, that's a wrap. Thanks for watching, and I hope you win some lotteries using this tool for your lottery picks. Please like and comment below.